So right now, we're in the world of Minecraft. But if you guys leave a like, we'll turn this into Terraria. <laughs> Why does it look like my character has a stick up his butt? <laughs> Yo! He's walking so weird! So guys, yeah, we actually did it. We turned Minecraft into a 3D version of Terraria. Before I get absolutely obliterated in the comment section, I never played Terraria before in my entire life. So I apologize in advance if I know absolutely nothing. But I do know some of the basic things. Like in order to chop down a tree, you're gonna actually need to use an ax. So we're gonna try this out. And I think, oh my God, wait, the whole tree comes down. And we also got our first achievement, Timber. Okay, so uh, yeah, this mod completely overhauls all of Minecraft. If you guys want me to potentially turn this into a series, all you guys need to do is leave tons of likes. The more likes you guys leave, the better chance of, that this has of turning into an actual series. I am indeed a sucker for likes. Okay, so we can also mine things. Was that, oh God, is that a worm? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab it. Should I? I'm gonna stab it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke. Oh, oh, well, that was neat. Listen to the sound effects. Oh, it just like squishes. So yeah, so far this is pretty darn cool. We started out with three tools. We have a sword, we have a pickaxe, and also an ax. <laughs> Why are my arms so wide? I look like a grandma that's holding out a stick trying to chase my grandson. Come here, little Timmy. Come here, give me back my cookies. <laughs> that was the worst grandma impression of my life. We can also mine rocks. And it doesn't drop rocks. What the flip is this? There's a blue slime. Oh, it, got, it does seven damage. Wait, okay, so in the top right hand of my screen is the health. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get used to the brand new UI. So my inventory is in the top left hand of the screen and my life and also mana is in the top right hand of the screen. So we have some wood and it looks like on the left hand of the screen, we can actually craft some things. Uh, I can make a workbench. All right, sweet. Before I actually placed on my workbench, I feel like we should have a boo, a base of operations. If I try to mine anything uh, without the actual tools, I don't think it actually works. So in order to mine things, I'm pretty sure you need to use your pickaxe. And then to mine trees, you have to use your ax. And then if you want to do damage to any sort of creature that's around, you have to use a sword. Like what happens if I just try to punch this slime? I can't even, like I can't. It just won't even let me do it. I, I literally can't even use my fist for any sort of combat. The cool thing is I just realized that these weapons, they don't have any durability. So I can just use them for eternity and never have to worry about them running out of life. Oh, we just squished that thing to death and we got gel. Can I eat it? Is there a hunger system in this game? There has to be some sort of hunger system or else, wait, how do I get back my life? Do I just automatically regen my life? I'm gonna be counting on you guys a lot. <laughs> if we do make this into a series, you guys are gonna need to comment down below how I actually use things. Because right now I feel like I just found Minecraft back in 2012. I'm 13 years old and I have no idea how anything works. That's basically what's happening right now. I, I know nothing. Oh, look at this squirrel. This thing is so cute. I wanna kill it. I need food. Oh, oh. Well, that was pointless. I'm gonna let you live because I killed the other squirrel and he was super cute. It didn't drop any food though, so it literally made no sense. I'm not gonna be killing any more squirrels ever in this series. All right, but cool, we have blocks and we also have wood. So uh, can I place things down? Let's try it out. Oh, okay, so I can. All right, so this will be the outside of my house. We'll make the pillars out of just uh, normal stone blocks. I also just realized I can jump two blocks tall. I also do jumping jacks whenever I jump, jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Why are the animations so weird? Okay, now that we've done that, we can start to make the exterior of the house. Normally, you have to put the wood inside of a workbench in order to get, like, wooden planks, but it seems like in this, they automatically just turn into wooden planks, which is nice. I also don't really want any grass in my house, so let's try to mine it. We could also excavate the floor and then make the rest of it stone. Wait, that's actually pretty sweet. So once you mine a block, it looks like the durability of the block actually stays damaged. Over time it goes away, but like if you kind of like start hitting a block and then you want to go like sip your tea or maybe like go kill a bunny, you can come back later and continue to mine the block. Wood, 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 wood. Is that a bird? Is this squirrel making bird noises? Or is that just a squirrel making squirrel noises? What noises do squirrels make? 
Also, why is this stay? It's terrifying. By my calculations, it looks like it is seven o'clock. So we're getting close to our first night. Am I scared? Yes. I wonder if I can plant new trees. It dropped acorns. Oh, I can. We can plant baby trees. Mega baby tree. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We gotta hurry. The sun's going down and there's probably gonna be some more slimes that are gonna spawn in very, very, very shortly. I don't have enough stone to uh, build the rest of my, my floor. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just like finish the outside parts of my house so I at least have a wall. Come on. I need to put a roof on this bad boy. We're not going to be skipping out on this roof either. We're going to be making it out of stone, just in case any giant creature that I've never seen before decides to come and try to stomp on my house. Since I've never played Terraria before, I have no idea what to expect. Like, there could be a giant. The roof is coming together very nicely. Whoa, wait, what is that? Is that the moon? I thought that was blocks. Oh, wait, okay, that's just a squirrel. We don't have to worry about squirrels. Squirrels are friends, not food. That's probably going to be the only thing that I learned today. This, oh my, what, what, what? Nah, I did not know that there were demon eyes. Okay, okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to need to finish our house. This is exactly why you make your house out of stone and wood so that the demon eyes aren't going to be able to penetrate my harsh defenses. I ran out of defenses for my home. It looks like we're fighting today. Demon eye, poke the eye, poke the eye. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Focus, Jack, focus. Oh my god, wait, they're flipping everywhere. They have so much health. Okay, so my health is in the top right. I have 100 health total. How are these eyeballs even damaging me? They don't even have opposable thumbs. Oh, I want to kill it so bad. Come back down, coward. I'm going to poke out your eyeball. <laughs> He's got 69 health. My baby trees are starting to grow. I must harvest the baby tree. I've harvested my baby. I'm gonna stab you right in the corny if you keep coming towards me. On top of that, I have to deal with undead zombies? Can we at least be friends? I am half zombie. I really need to finish up my house. Then again, this zombie is probably homeless. So we're basically on the same exact societal level. You are homeless zombie and I am also homeless zombie. We are basically the same. Sadly, only one of us can survive this bout, and it is going to be me. <laughs> His head chopped off. Ow! Oh my gosh, the eyeballs got trapped in my house, and they called it backup? No, oh, I'm dead! I'm so dead! What? Wait, why is there a timer going down? What happens after the timer hits zero? I also dropped 46 copper coins. Oh, okay, cool. It just kind of responds to you. And you also keep your inventory. Wait, that's crazy. That's amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. So in the world of 3D Terraria, death is only temporary. It only lasts about 15 seconds. Well, for the time being, I'm probably gonna need to finish up my house using wood. It's not the most ideal situation, but also there's literally tons and tons of monsters surrounding me, so I don't really have time to be picky. What I'm going to do is try not to die again. <laughs> Leave me alone! We're playing Ring Around the Rosie! And I am losing terribly! If you told me 20 minutes ago I would be struggling to keep deathly eyeballs outside of the house that I just built, I would have told you that you were absolutely clinically insane. Be gone and never come back, eyeballs! Oh my god. What is on your head? You've been slimed! I feel like I'm playing zombies right now! They're coming up to my walls! And I can't even rebuild my defenses. What I can do is stab his ear. I'm gonna stab the back of your ear. Oh, I exploded an eyeball! Yeah, we picked up his contact lens. I just watched one of my baby trees grow before my eyes. Oh, why would I open up my barriers? I feel like I've been stabbing things for the past 10 minutes straight. Yo, this zombie has had a rough hair day today. Luckily, your time is over. You don't have to worry about hair days anymore. That's the least of your struggles. I am leaving my house. My house has been overrun. Ah! You guys remember when the biggest worry I had was if I could kill a squirrel or not? 
Those were the days. I managed to get my hand on the torch. I think I probably picked it up from one of these torch zombies. I'm gonna stab you in the butt uh, until you give me your torch. Do not try to run. Why are you running? Thank you for the torches. I can use this when I make my mine so that I can actually go upgrade some of my weapons. What's up, little bunny? Do you want to come inside of my house and be my bestest friend? Yes, you do. I know you do. <laughs> the bunny is just trying to run away. Well, so far we've done a pretty decent job. Next thing I want to do is, I guess, make a table. Oh, wait, we can make more things. We can make... Oh, we can make armor out of wood. Wait, we can make doors. Perfect. Okay, let's make some doors. Uh, we'll make one door. And I guess we'll make two doors. Okay, so now if I put the door here, and we'll put the door here, perfect. So I tried to fix it, and I honestly think I nailed it. I guess also today we'll become Beckbro Interior Designer. We'll uh, craft ourselves a stool, and also a table too, using some of our wood. Look at that, we can place a, oh, uh, never mind. We can place a, a table right um, over here in this corner. This will be where I eat all of my amazing meals. Not squirrels, of course. And also we can place down my bar stool, which I can actually sit in. Look, and I can stand on my table too. At this point, I thought I was doing pretty well on my journey. I already had a house, a beautiful farm of baby trees, and my very own table and chair. Ah, life doesn't get too much better than this. I'm absolutely terrified of the outside world, so I think it's probably a good idea to start a mine inside of my own base. Or at least we can turn this into a basement eventually. I have big plans for this world. Now's a great time to remind you guys that over 80% of people watching today's episode are not actually subscribed. So, I mean, if you made it to this far in the episode, you probably like some of the things that are happening, so you might as well go check. If that subscribe button is red, make sure to press it and turn it gray. That is one good looking basement if I've ever seen one. It's so spacious. I could do so many things down here. Like walk around like I literally haven't pooped in five days. Oh boys, we can make a furnace now. I have no idea what I could do with this, but we're gonna find out. This thing is beefy. All right, I guess we're gonna have to put the furnace in the basement. We'll plop it down, I guess, right over in this corner. Whoa, wait, the lighting is insane. Okay, so if I open up my inventory near this, I'm guessing we can use it to make bricks. We can also make a campfire. What do bricks look like? Let's test these out. So let's see, if I were to maybe place bricks like right here. Oh, I literally got one brick. We will place our one brick right out here. This will be our token brick. Minecraft should really add the feature in the next update where the entire tree just comes down as soon as you mine the bottom block. It is extremely satisfying and saves so much time. Plus you won't have to worry about some of your friends leaving behind all of the leaves. Wait, what? You can go over 64 blocks in a stack. This is amazing. I feel like I've done something illegal, but I haven't. It's completely illegal. Time to explore. Ah! I have fallen in a hole and I cannot get out. Oh, that's a golden squirrel? I would like a golden squirrel. Did I get a golden squirrel? Why do squirrels not drop anything? It seems like I've located a brand new biome. The red biome. I actually think this might be some sort of crimson biome, but let's go check it out. Well, the sky turned dark. I started taking damage. Is that from, oh God, okay. Do a note to self, do not walk into the, oh God. What is- what just killed me? After that, I decided to explore a little bit more, and I found a treasure chest. Oh, ho, ho, I hit the jackpot. Let's see what we have down here. Uh, a guide to plant fiber cordage. We can read a book. It's totally what I want to do. A can of worms, which we can open. You're probably not supposed to open a can of worms. That's like a saying. <gasps> Wait, we found iron bars. And silver coins. Can I also take the chest with me so that I can actually have something to store things with at home? Oh, this is nice. Happy days. Oh, these are so satisfying to break. Okay, let's open up our can of worms. We have five worms. Can I eat the worms? Oh, I can place down the worms. And then I can kill the worms. And then I can get the squish sound. Oh, crap, 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 crap. There's more of the demon eyeballs. Oh, more of the homeless zombies. I'm taking cover down in this cave. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's uh, get on my torch so that I can see what's happening down here. Oh, this goes deep. And wait, we also found a brand new ore. The zombie's chasing me. Oh, back up, ugly. Get wrecked, boy. Well, now that that's taken care of, we can bop our way up here and mine whatever this brand new ore is. Please be iron. Is it iron? 
Oh yeah, we did. We got iron ore. We already have iron bars, so I'm guessing that we could probably go back to our workbench and craft something. First things first, I need to make sure that we're able to dig straight down. In Minecraft, you're never supposed to do this, but in Terraria, I don't know if it's a rule. I'm also kind of curious what's at the bottom of a Terraria Minecraft world. Am I gonna find bedrock? Maybe it leads completely to a new dimension? What did we just stumble across? Let's check it out. We picked up copper ore, which is uh, what my tools are made out of. So maybe we can actually make different tools. Maybe we can also make copper armor. As of right now, I am absolutely loving this. So if you guys wanna see more episodes, all you gotta do is go smash the like button. The harder you smash, the more likely I am to make an episode two. Let's keep going down to see what we can find. Yep, just keep digging down, Jack. That's a great idea. Little did I know, that was probably my worst idea of the day. Down to the ground, just don't stop. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Oh my god, what? Oh, ew, ew, ew. Spider webs, spider webs, spider webs. I do not want to fight any spiders today. Spiders in Minecraft are terrifying. Spiders in Terraria are probably 10 times more terrifying. Did we actually pick up the string? Oh, we did. We got some cobweb. We can use that for Halloween decorations. Also a pot. Oh my gosh, wait, they have loot. Oh, sweet. I picked up some arrows. Also, wait a second. I can equip things. Like, I just picked up that and I can gain defense. Now, we also picked up a golden chest. There is some tungsten flaming arrows, a healing potion, a recall potion, glow sticks, and a gold coin. Let's grab the chest so we can bring that home and use it for storage. What does a glow stick do? Can I place it down? Oh wait, we can throw them. Can I pick it back up? <laughs> I don't think I can. I think it might just be stuck there. Oh my goodness. Bro, where did we just land? Oh my gosh, I just got so lucky. If I were to have dug down like 10 blocks in that direction, I would have fallen all the way down to my death. That would have been bad. Luckily, I'm the luckiest man alive. Can I just like make this jump? Oh, we actually don't lose that much health when we jump. There's a couple new types of blocks and we also have tons of vases down there that we can break. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be so decked out. Uh, let's see, what is this? Is this tungsten? Let's check it out. We found, I think this is tungsten. We already had some. Let's try to mine some more. Yep, this is tungsten ore. I have no idea what this does, but we're gonna bring this all back up to the surface and use it in the workbench and also see if we can smelt some of it down in the furnace. The cobwebs are so satisfying. Oh my gosh, I love it. Maybe we can make these into bow and arrows, so we're gonna grab all of it. Is that diamonds? Are there diamonds in this game? The, the, okay, let's see. Did I actually find something? Like, cool? I found sapphires. Maybe that's the same thing as diamonds in Terraria. I don't know, because I'm dumb. Did I just hear a bat? I definitely hear a bat. <gasps> Look at it, little, no, it's a mouse? What? What's up, little dude? How you, how you doing? That is the cutest little mouse I've ever seen. Little mouse, oh, don't worry. You can live down here in peace. <gasps> What's that? Is that sapphire? No, wait, we just picked up sapphire. That might be gold. Oh my gosh, we are getting rich down here. Is this gold? We found, oh, topaz. I'm sure some of you guys are screaming at me that I'm finding some super overpowered ores and materials down here, and I just have no idea. And this is gold ore. I had a feeling it was gold ore. We can either go down there and go deeper, or we can go over here and check out that thing. I don't know if I should approach that thing. Does it have eyeballs? Should I should I touch it? I'm gonna mine it. Okay. We're going. Wait. Should I, should, I, should I stab it? Let's let's. Oh no. Okay. So we, we probably shouldn't poke it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to mine this thing. Imagine if this thing just spawns in a massive boss, and I have no idea that that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm causing some sort of particle glitching. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and try to use this recall potion, and then in the next episode, you guys need to let me know what to do with this thing. Okay. Let's try this out in three, two, one. Recall. Oh, it worked. So this thing brought me right back to spawn. I see my house over there. We can decorate the outside with our brand new sunflowers that we just got. Oh yeah, we're doing well. Let's see what we can actually make in the workbench. So I can make a blue torch and also a yellow torch. I'll have to research what they do. We can turn our cobwebs into web ropes. Oh, I can make an iron anvil and a wooden yo-yo. That's actually something that does damage. Wait, wood is better than copper. Before I try out the yo-yo, which I'm definitely going to be making some sort of yo-yo. Don't get me wrong, we need that. But let's go ahead and up to the furnace and see what we can actually make. So we can turn some of our ore into actual bars. So let's try to turn it all into copper bars. We'll get all of our iron ore, tungsten bars, 
gold bars, and sticky glow sticks. A campfire seems like it would be a pretty good idea too. So we could place that outside so that we can sit by the campfire and maybe roast some marshmallows. I haven't found any marshmallows yet, but there could be a way to get some. All right, so let's uh, place that like right over here. That looks perfect. Oh, I can... <laughs> what? Oh, wait, it gives me an actual buff too. Life regen is slightly increased when you're by the fire. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's try to make an iron anvil. And this thing is probably also going to be pretty big. So we'll place this down in the basement. It's actually not that big, but whatever. Oh, wait, we can make chains. We can also make an iron door. And this is where we can make upgraded weapons. Oh, we can actually make a bow, an iron bow, perfect. Let's try to replace our short sword with a copper broadsword. Yeah, all right, now we're in business. While we're up here, let's place down my chest in this corner so that we can offload some of our items just in case. I never really knew what this book did. We're able to put the book on our body and it allows us to collect vine rope from vines. And also while we're up here, we might as well turn some of our wood into uh, different armor pieces. We have a wood helmet and also wooden greaves. Let's set down our bow. I swear, did I not have arrows? I have flaming arrows. How do I use it? Oh, I just left click. Oh, oh my God, it does so much damage. Oh, you squirrels are done for. Wait, I made a promise. I'm not going to kill squirrels. I said nothing about butterflies. <laughs> Look at the yo-yo. Yo, this is my brand new weapon of choice. Oh my gosh, this thing is going to do so much damage. Yo, look at that. Beck bro, wooden man with my wooden yo-yo. <laughs> I'm basically just a tree. Does it do damage? Do I need to like hold it out? Oh, oh yeah. We're just walking the dog. What about my sticky glow stick? Oh my God. That is magnificent. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. Who goes there? What is this creature? A Chromera? Okay, we're gonna use our iron bow on it. Oh my God, there's so much damage. Are, wait, are they? Are, oh my God, there's more, there's more, there's more. Look at its teeth. Wooden yo-yo, please protect me. Wait, I'm getting surrounded. There's so many of them. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I have a health potion, health potion. Yo, that does so much. Oh, uh, is it enough? Probably not. Also, there's a cooldown on my health potion, so we should probably book it. It's still coming for me. Leave me alone. Stranger danger. The next thing I stumbled across, you would never find in a normal Minecraft world. Look at this beaut. Oh my gosh. I have never seen something so big and so magnificent. Is there a good way to get down there? There's a zombie down there. Uh, I hear the zombie from like all the way down there. Oh no, there was another zombie. You gotta be <laughs> I just want to go be in my safe house. Ah, uh, nice. Well, this was actually a lot of fun. If you guys do want to see more episodes, smash like and hit subscribe. I'll leave the download link for Terraria Craft in the description of this video. So you guys can go try it out for yourself and destroy some zombies. And maybe also poke some eyeballs.